Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tova, and Chag Sameach. So much going on this time of year. This Shabbat, we also have a ton of great stuff going on. We start on Friday with our family services and an alternative service at the same time on Friday evening, followed by Torah study on Saturday morning. We'll have a Just For You service, special needs service, on Saturday at 1. And we'll cap off and end the Shabbat with a hayride at Springdale Farms, which will have a cookout and haftalah and lots of fall fun for everyone. I'm standing here in front of the sukkah because, of course, it is Sukkot. And you may not know this, but Sukkot is thought of as perhaps the most significant holiday in the Jewish year, certainly the most joyful. Most of the Jewish holidays have several names. Among the other names we give to Sukkot are Heichag, the holiday, and Zman Simchatenu, the time of our joy or rejoicing. There are lots of reasons for this, but the ones I want to talk about today are very relevant to us. There's a deep psychological significance to Sukkot and the joy that it brings about. As you may know, we sit in our Sukkah traditionally for all seven days of the holiday. This temporary structure built next to our permanent structure, we go and we spend time in the outdoors. And we read the book of Ecclesiastes over Sukkot, maybe even sitting in our Sukkah. Ecclesiastes, also a very modern book, which has among the famous quotes, to everything there's a season. There's a time to heal and a time to be sick. There's a time to dance and a time to mourn. There's a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to be born and a time to die. As we read this book, we recognize how frail and temporary our lives are. And we do that sitting in our sukkah this temporary structure so much like our own lives. And as we acknowledge this frailty, this transitory nature, we do that surrounded by friends and family and loved ones, surrounded by love. Sukkot is a feast for the senses. We are outdoors listening to the sounds of nature, smelling the beautiful smell of the Etrog and the Lulav, hearing the rustling of the wind through all our beautiful decorations and through the sky, looking up at the blue sky or the stars above us. And in that sukkah, we truly feel alive, even at the same time as the holiday itself calls us to be aware of how vulnerable we are. And so standing on the verge of that vulnerability, aware of that vulnerability, but surrounded by love, engaging with our senses, feeling fully vital and alive, we can experience a joy that is clear-eyed, that is not based on denial, on our illusion, but recognizes the truth of our lives and appreciates all the more how sweet our lives are in this time in all our lives as we, even as we acknowledge the temporary nature, we can still feel something eternal moving behind all of it, feel connected to something truly deep and greater than ourselves. And so I want to wish you a Chag Sameach to enjoy your time to come eat and spend time in our Sukkah and join us for all these great celebrations. Chag Sameach.